Good morning, everybody. It is a Monday morning, and need I say more about that? Probably the less said, the better. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing a toque, it's because I need to buy a hairdryer. And I'm not sure if you've been online recently to take a look at the selection of hair dryers out there, but it's really terrifying. How do you make a decision so you don't? Paralyzed by indecision, you face the possibility of having to wear a hat for the entire rest of your life. Uh, so that is not actually the topic of Writer for a Year Today. Writer for a Year Today is about which organizations to join and how to find community. Because... The writing world has been called by everybody a very lonely experience, and it is a very difficult, lonely experience. But what can be even more difficult is trying to find your community and then struggling because the writing world is like anything in life. It's, it's a massive, big playground, and there'll be groups of people who will invite you into their group, and then there are other groups of people who Mm, no, we'll close, close the doors. So what you need to do is just try and keep forging on until you find that writing community where you fit and where you're happy and where your work is encouraged. So I'm a member of the Sisters in Crime Toronto chapter, the Sisters in Crime National, the International Thriller Writers, the Madames of Mayhem, who are fantastic, and we'll be looking at all of these more during the year, and the Crime Writers of Canada. And today I have a blog post that's going to be appearing on the, with the international thriller writers that I'm really, really happy about. I mean, that's a good example of a good day in a writing world where, you know, your blog goes up and hopefully people like it, read it, comment about it. And that makes you, you feel like actually you are doing something that does exist in, in the real world. I also looked at joining the Toronto Romance Writers. I've attended a few of their workshops, and I love the work that they do. So I said to my husband, so my work is romance, right? And he's like, no, your work is not romance. So then I asked my publisher, so I've got the elements of romance in my work, don't I? And she's like, no. Now, to my mind, revenge, isn't revenge romance in a certain sense? Anyway... Never mind. So I realized, okay, so I don't write romance. And so I haven't as yet joined the Toronto Romance Writers. But that's not to say I won't because they offer amazing workshops and they're such an amazing group of people. And that's what it really comes down to. It comes down to the people that you meet and connect and interact with, either be it, you know, in person in workshops or online. And so those are my pithy insights and words of wisdom for today. And now I'm going to really tackle the rage room and uh, hopefully I will have some fun there and I hope that everybody will have a fantastic Monday and find yourself somebody to hug because uh, it's a gray Monday okay thank you bye